This is a lesson on number patterns and pattern rules. So let's look at a pattern first. So a pattern can be found by looking at how terms in a set change from one term to the next. So a set would be like a group of numbers or terms. So to find the pattern, you need to look at how each one progresses and changes from one to the next. Now, in order to do that, we can look at the steps, which are right here. And it says, step one, look at the first two numbers or terms in the set and observe how they have changed. So you might need to write this down or just take note. Then step two, look at the second and third numbers to see if these have changed in the same way. And if not, then you need to see how they changed and figure out how that is similar to how the first two numbers change, changed from one to the next. Okay, and then lastly, third, once you have the pattern, make sure that it works for all numbers or terms in the set. So once you think you have the pattern, that pattern needs to work for every term in that set. Otherwise, um, your pattern does not actually quite work. So if we look at the top again, but on the right hand side, um, we are looking at pattern rules. So this is a rule for the pattern that you found. So a rule to follow. So a pattern rule is found by looking at the beginning term and then describing how the next term or terms change as the set goes on. So um, here are the steps. So first, find the first term or number in the set. Then two, explain how the pattern moves through the given set. So follow this format. So you start at, and then whatever number goes here, and then in this blank, you explain how to get from one number to the next. So it might be start at two and uh, move on by three or add three each time you go to the next number. Okay, so if this doesn't make sense, bear with me. Um, move down to the bottom of your paper here or further to the bottom. And we've got an example that we can look at. So in the example, it has... Um, it starts with a 5, then we've got a 6, then we've got an 8, 11, 15, and I've got some blanks for you to fill in after. So I've done this one for you. And um, as you can see in the red, this is the work that I've shown. So you should be showing your work as well, just like this, or it may, be, may look different depending on the pattern. So um, to find out how this changed, First, I drew arrows from one number to the next to show that I'm going, I'm looking at um, how each number increases. And so in this one, from five to six, we add one to five and we get six. Then the next one, I see that we have an eight. So we had to add two to get to that eight. And then the next one to get from eight to 11, we had to add three. So eight plus three is 11. And then we looked at 11, and we had to add 4 to get to 15. Now, if you can see, we've got a pattern here. It goes 1, 2, 3, 4. So the next number would be a uh, plus 5, then plus 6. And uh, you can probably figure out that this one goes 7. So switching screens here, um, we've got 15. And then we've got blank, blank, blank. Now, I don't need to figure out this to find my pattern rule. So I can look at that I've got 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is how my pattern moves on. So my pattern rule, I have start at 5. So my first number in the pattern. So it's always going to be the one on the very left. So 5 in this case. Start at 5. And then we need to say how the pattern increases. So increase the number you add by one each time. Right, so that means increase the number you add. So this is the number you add by one each time. So one increases to two, increases to three, increases to four, and then that would increase to five. 
So if we want to find the next three numbers, all we have to do is continue the pattern. So we've got 15, and we know the pattern has plus 5 this time. So the next number would be 20. Then we've got to add plus 6 the next time. So 20 plus 6 is 26. Now what would go here? We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 would go here. That means we add 7 to 26. So we should get 33. Oops. Okay, so we continued our pattern after we found our pattern rule. Okay, there it is. So, if we move on um, to the bottom of our page here, we've got a practice. So it says find the pattern rule, then find the next five terms in the pattern. So we'll do this one together, and then there are some on the back that you can try on your own. So I'll just switch to where I can write here. So um, here we go. It says find the pattern rule, then five, find the next five terms in the pattern. So here's our pattern, 10, 6, 11, 7, 12. So we can look, first of all, how this increases or decreases in this case. So 10 to 6, that is, um, uh, we can draw an arrow, and that is minus 4. Then to the next number, 6 to 11 would be plus 5. Then 11 to 7 would be minus 4. Then 7 to 12 would be plus 5. So we need to first write a pattern rule. So, where do we start? Remember, we write where we start first. So, start at 10. So, start at 10. And then, you see these alternate. So, that might be a word that you'll want to use in the future of this unit, alternate. So that means that we're switching from one to the other, then back to the first, then to the second. And that's the case here. We go minus four plus five, minus four plus five. So we would write for a pattern rule, and this isn't the only possibility for a pattern rule, but this is one way to write it. They all need to mean the same thing, but this is one way to write it. So alternately, and you write this on your page too. Oops. Alternately, subtract, because we start with subtract, so you need to tell this one first. Subtract four. then add five, All right? So start at 10, we started at 10, then we'll subtract four, then add five, then subtract four, then add five, and now we need to find the next five terms in the pattern. So one, two, three, four, five, so, um, that means that we are going to subtract 4, then add 5, then subtract 4, then add 5, and subtract 4. So, 12 minus 4 is 8, then 8 plus 5 is 13, then 13 subtract 4. 
is oops, 9. Then 9 plus 5 is 14. And then 14 subtract 4 is 10. So this would be the pattern in our um, or the continued pattern. Now this part is important where we wrote down how what the differences were and what the how how they changed because just looking at 10 then 6 then 11 then 7 then 12 you may not have found this answer but since we wrote it down it was easy to see how they changed okay so always write it down especially if you cannot see it right away so um, what you need to do now is pause the video and answer B, C, and D. See if you can do those. If you can do these three patterns on the back, then you are set to go. Okay, so pause the video now and uh, start once you are ready to see the answers. Okay, so here we go with... Uh, B here and it has three four six seven nine so three let's look at how these move so three to four is adding one then four to six is adding two then six to seven is adding one and seven to nine is adding two so you can see that again we've got alternating going on so our pattern rule can be start at three, alternate adding a one, then add two. Okay, so that's the first part. Then we need to find the next five digits or five terms in the uh, pattern. So one, two, three, four, five we've got here. So we put our spaces, then we write what needs to come next. So we had a plus two here, so then we're going to add one, then we're going to add two, then one, then two, then one. So we've got 9 plus 1, and that is 10. Then 10 plus 2 is 12. 12 plus 1 is 13. 13 plus 2 is 15. And 15 plus 1 is 16. So take a look at yours and match it and see if you got the same. If not, then rewind the video and watch the explanation again. So looking at C, you can see here that I have done some of the work already. So it says um, here we, we uh, move up by 3, then subtract 1, then add 3, subtract 1, add 3. So it's easy to see our pattern when we write it down again. So our pattern rule would be start at 1, alternately add 3, then subtract 1. So we're alternating adding 3 and subtracting 1. So we can find the next terms together. And one, two, three, four, five at once. So um, we've just added by three. So we need to subtract uh -oh, one pen back here. Yeah, so minus one then we're going to subtract three for this number or add three for this number subtract one add three subtract one okay and then we look at the eight minus one seven seven plus three is ten ten minus one is nine nine plus three is twelve and 12 minus 1 is 11. So we've continued the pattern using our pattern rule. Okay, and the last one. So here I've got um, some of the work done here. And 
what I did is saw how it adds each time. There's no subtracting this time. But 1 to 2 is plus 1, then 2 to 5 is plus 3, then plus 5, plus 7, plus 9. I'm sure you can guess that the next one would be plus 11. Now, how would you write this rule? Don't worry if you did not write this exact way. Your way could be different. You have to say that you start at 1, but you could say in a different way that you're moving up by 2 once you've started at 1. Okay, so the way I did it is start at 1 and add 1, then increase the number you add by 2 each time. So the number you add, this might be uh, make it easier for you if you remember that you can call this number the number you add or the number you subtract. Okay, so that, that, that's what we'll call those numbers, the number you add or the number you subtract. So if we're going to continue our pattern, then we've got to add some larger numbers here. So we've got 26 plus 11, and that would turn into 37. Then 37 plus 13, 3 plus 7, that would be 10, so that would be 50. Next one, 50 plus 15 would be 65. Then 65 plus 17, that would be uh, 82. Is that correct? I think so. Uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So the 2 is right. Carry the 1, 6, 7, 8, 82. Yep. And then 82 plus 19. So 9 plus 2, we'd have an 11. And then we carry the 1. So 9 plus, or 8 plus 1 is 9. Plus 1 would be 10. So our pattern would end with 101. And you can put commas in between these numbers just to keep it organized. But so there isn't going to be one recipe for you finding these. You're going to have to look hard and you're going to have to um, think outside the box sometimes to find your pattern rule. Okay, so um, your assignment is on the bottom of your paper. And it is a si or page 8, number 1, 3, 4, 5. That's your assignment. Okay, so go ahead and do that right now.